the last episode I left off where I'd made a tool to make the click spring recess um, in sort of one go instead of using the lathe cutter tools and as you can see I was pretty successful in accomplishing that task. Since then I've been working on making another tool which I've never made before and there's not much um, instruction out there on how to make it. I was just going through uh, the process of eliminating and improving how to make it like I made a lot of mistakes but I just kept on retrying to make the tool make the tool and towards right towards the end at the most critical part I snapped my threading tap which sort of brought that to a halt um, I was pretty disappointed since that time I've reordered the tap I've also ordered some other tools which will help me complete um, that project so I don't have much watchmaking content for this video but I wanted to upload this video because as the end of the year approaches and Christmas is right around the corner, I wanted to do a giveaway just to say thanks and um, show my appreciation to you guys for tuning into my videos and commenting and liking or disliking. You guys have really made this um, experience a pleasure and I know I haven't kept my promise from episode one which is uploading a video every week next year from 2018 that's something I'm really going to focus on it's been a big learning curve for me for, um, in terms of you know camera work and lighting and video editing all those types of things which I'm only uh, which I'm slowly improving and getting a bit quicker at and next year also I really want to grow this channel and also expand the topic at the moment I'm only covering the actual making a watch side of um, what I'm doing, I'm also doing repairs on clocks and watches and learning about using different types of tools um, which are specific to watchmaking and machining. Yeah, that's, that's my plan for next year. Just before I get into the details of the giveaway, I just wanted to um, quickly talk about guilloche in watchmaking. So guilloche is a decorative pattern which is usually engraved on the uh, watch dolls. It's also been used on the watch movement and also on the pocket watch cases in the past. But I just want to talk about it on the doll because it's something that uh, I would like to create in the future. At this point in time for my first watch, I don't think I'm going to be able to acquire the machine and all the knowledge to be able to create a guilloche dial. If you haven't heard of guilloche dials or seen how they're made, it's really interesting. I'm going to link at the end of this video as an end card to Roger William Smith's um, demonstration of how he makes his guilloche dials. I'm a huge fan of his watches. If you don't know who he is, he's the protege of George Daniels and he just does amazing work. But uh, to actually learn how to use uh, the machinery and how to create an actual a guilloche doll. There is somebody out there who runs a workshop. That is a workshop that I really want to attend. Um, if all my stars align, hopefully next year sometime I'll be over in Seattle doing a beginner workshop in guilloche. So the person who runs this course is Nicole Brittany Cox and, and if you haven't heard of her or seen her work, it is phenomenal. I believe she specializes in the conservation and restoration of automata. So things as like uh, the mechanical singing birds, mechanical musical objects and complicated musical clocks and watches. Her business is Memoria Technica. I'm going to post a link in the description below to her website where you can see the amazing work that she's done, the classes that she runs and also, you know, her shop where she sells a few things. So for me, it's supporting a horological legend such as Nico and also giving back to you guys. I actually ordered an extra copy of her book. Sacred, uh, Sacred Geometry. It is a coloring book but it has all the guilloche patterns. So the way she created this was using a pen chuck in the Rose engine. And then obviously the originals were sent to the publishing company and a limited number of these books were made. But if coloring's not your thing, I've also ordered what she calls her book of receipts. This is basically a book of all the patterns that is in the uh, coloring book and it provides information about the rosette that was used to create each pattern, the increment of the slide rest, the phase, the eccentricity, chuck eccentricity, and things that I have no knowledge about, but 
definitely it's something that I'm going to learn and I, and I think it's just great to support her and also it's just um, some knowledge for any watch uh, watchmaking enthusiast to enter the giveaway it's pretty simple just comment down below the an your answer to the question if you had an unlimited budget to either buy a watch or a type of machinery what would it be? So you don't have to think, don't, I don't want you to waste too much time. Just, it's pretty easy. There's no right or wrong answer. I'll be drawing the winner next week. So uh, please ensure that you've subscribed to the channel and also hit that bell notification to on. So you guys are notified when I upload a video. One other thing, just to keep this video in line with the YouTube guidelines for running a giveaway, there's just a few things I need to mention, which I've also typed in the description below that this video is not sponsored. All the products featured in this video I've purchased with my own money. This contest is in no way sponsored, endorsed, or administered by or associated with YouTube or any other social media platform in which it may be promoted. I wish you all the best of luck and see you all in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any of my upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or something you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.